What's up? I'm Drew Paul Bell, trying on my new apartment today, and uh, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what to talk about. What I wanna talk about in this video is what to do when you're stuck. All right, so this is something that everybody struggles with in architecture school at one point or another. Um, it's, what do I do? So first, what I wanna talk about is why that happens. Um, so a lot of times when somebody is stuck and they don't have any ideas, the problem isn't really that they don't have any ideas, it's probably more likely that they either have too many ideas or that they're too critical of their ideas right off the bat. So when people are, um, like, nobody is ever, like, not thinking. Everybody has stuff going on in their head. The, anytime you can, like, quietly quiet all of your other thoughts, not think about anything, that's called meditation. And that's actually difficult to achieve. Like, you have something in your mind. The problem is usually not that you don't have any ideas, it's that you have too many, it's causing like a log jam, or that, you know, you're, you're too critical of one. And so, the way to get over those are just spit something out. Just do something. Just scribble down some idea on the page. And you might be afraid that it's not good enough, but that's totally fine. It requires the strength of getting over your own ego and saying, I can draw a stupid idea. I can draw an idea, I can draw a stupid idea poorly. Right? It doesn't matter that you can't even, that you can't draw it properly, but do it, get it on paper, and then progress it from there. Which brings me to my next point. It's a constant balance between action and analysis. You have to design is like you have to constantly do things and then step back and look at it and judge it. Is it good? Is it bad? Could it be better looking like this? But the first step in that is action. You have to do something. You can't sit around waiting for the perfect idea to come up, come up in your head because that's not going to happen. You're going to come up with like the first good idea, like the first little kernel of an idea, but then it's going to grow. You're going to make iterations, make changes, do stuff to it to improve it, and then later on it's going to become a good idea then. And you see this in the progress of, you know, it, when you get to the end of, of the end of a semester, look back at your own process, look back at someone else's process, and see what they had at the very beginning. And you'll see how it progresses from something that's not that great and it's something that's a lot better. I know for me, even with my videos, some of my earliest videos, the framing of the shot wasn't very good. And then I figured out, hey, I should frame it differently like this. Right now, today, I wasn't sure what I should do a topic on. But I had this ace in my back pocket, and uh, I had this one. I had several other ideas I could talk about. I wasn't sure. I kind of had the log jam situation. And uh, I just decided, no, this is the one. I'm doing this one tonight, and uh, I'm going to shoot this and get it out. You have to do the same thing with your ideas. When you come up with an idea for a building or any kind of thing, like just the facade, the skin, the circulation pattern, like the way that you want it to like, relate to the building next door, doesn't matter. Whatever that is, draw it. Just try to draw it. And if it doesn't look good, that's fine. Just analyze it. See what works out of it, what doesn't work. Action and analysis. So that is kind of the key to making progress going forward. And it's kind of like you just baby step it forward. A little bit of action, a little bit of analysis. And a little bit of action, a little bit of analysis. March yourself on down the process of that. Now, I'm also want to talk about what not to do when you're stuck. And what a lot of students do when they're stuck and they don't know what to do, naturally they're not taking action so they don't have anything to do. They don't have anything to analyze and they're just stuck and then they don't have anything to show the professor either. So then they'll like not show up to studio and not go to class. But that's actually the worst thing that you could do when you're stuck because the teacher's there to help you. Like your professors, it's, this is a challenging thing going through the whole design process. Uh, it's it takes work to overcome your ego and put out an idea that you know might not be good or sketch some early thing some early idea that it's not fully developed and it's it's difficult to do that it takes some strength and it takes skill too it's not even just about like hard work at it that will get you a long way but it also requires that you're actually good at it so professors are there it's kind of like a coach to help get you get you along that way so uh, i've said before don't let teachers like take over your project and don't just like completely relinquish, you know, your entire spine to let you know them just do it all for you. But when you're stuck, absolutely go in and ask for help. Be like, look, I, I just don't know what to do. Like, can you point me in one direction? Just give me like one thing to go with. Okay, 
then go with it. So, uh, I hope that you like this video, if it helps, um, please like, subscribe, and share. Let me know if there's anything that helps you get unstuck, and uh, let me know, I want to hear about it in the comments down below. So, um, so yeah, a little personal update, I guess, I'm, uh, you may notice I'm in a different apartment. Um, I'm still in the same like complex, but I'm on the other side, so uh, by the way, you hear that? That's the sound of not ambulances driving by outside, so hopefully we're going to get a little bit better, better audio over here. Um, I missed my brick wall. I had like before I was in a corner, so I had like the extra brick wall in my unit, which was awesome. But now uh, I got two drywalls on either side, so I got I got some really cool brick walls like outside I get to look at. Bear with me on the new background, the new scenery. I hope you dig it too. I will talk to you next time.